Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Rough Theory. It's been a while since I did anything, so I just wanted to, um, you know, take a look at uh, what's going on in the world. And usually, you know, as you know, there's nothing really great happening usually. <laughs> but I found this uh, thing happening here: uh, a woman attacked in a road rage incident. And let's check this out. Um, this happened about eight hours ago, or something, like eleven hours ago, or somewhere. But uh, let's see. Let's see what this is about. All right, hang tight. Both girls um, dragged me out of my truck and started beating me. They were just punching on her and holding her down on the asphalt. A broad daylight beating for a pointless reason. It happened Saturday afternoon in West Seattle. I spoke to the victim over the phone. She doesn't want to use her name because she's terrified. She was in town from Yakima to visit her father, who's dealing with a brain injury after having three tumors removed. The victim tells me this was all because she accidentally cut off the suspects at the intersection. They were right on top of me and I was really scared I was going to get run over by my own vehicle. The video shows the victim's car rolled down the street where it crashed into another car. Then the suspects speed off. The witnesses say they did not go far. Someone on scene sent me this video of the Range Rover parked by Alki. You can see it is missing the front license plate and still has a piece of paper in the windshield like the car in the assault video. It's disheartening that, that Seattle police didn't show up in a timely manner. We could have gotten... So I don't know if you guys notice this. A lot of times you see these videos, there's always these women dressed like, basically like prostitutes that usually get out and start fighting with people. And uh, I have to say, she's a very shapely woman. I mean, she's got a nice, great behind here. And it look, I wonder, she, she probably knows she's on camera beating someone up or whatever the case may be here. And uh, this person was uh, headed somewhere you know, to see someone, family, whatever the case may be here. And... Uh, they probably didn't expect this in the morning most likely you know so <laughs> it's kind of sad when you have uh people that get so angry that they feel like they can get out in their bikini and just take their uh, anger out on you a very strange situation here but um this is america guys this is uh, what we do i'm not sure if this happens in any other country if it does it probably does most likely probably not a degree that we do because you know americans we do things with a specific spin to it, a specific way. So, you know, uh, let's take a look at this further. Let's see. Let's see what else goes on here. I'm curious. Very curious here. It's disheartening that that Seattle police didn't show up in a timely manner. We could have got those girls. They were they were a mile away on the beach party. You responded faster than they did, and it's that was on Saturday. What you it's now Monday. I'm shocked. Wendy Carrington is one of the Good Samaritans who tried to stop the assault. These look like the folks. Oh, yeah. They had the parking ticket on the front of their Land Rover. I have pictures of both suspects. That? I mean, easily recognizable, that ass. Look, let's just be honest here, okay? <laughs> yep, that was the ass that I saw in that outfit that was beating my ass. <laughs> or beating someone's ass, right? So... Yep, this this is uh, crazy, man. Ass beating ass, crazy, very crazy. Carrington confirmed pictures that the 22-year-old victim herself took after the. Honestly, look at that ass. I'm just kidding, guys. But seriously, you're dressed up like that, going out, and you want to stop to get in a fight with someone. Honestly, like, what kind of world do we live in now, where everybody, nobody cares about? you know anything anymore about what people think about them it's just like that part her video of beating someone is probably going to go on some other uh website where she's probably going to make money like you know world star <laughs> you know shit like that the assault this is but seattle police anything is possible this is a reminder anything is possible those are my reminders folks isn't that interesting Anything is possible. I use Alexa to remind me those things. Just letting you guys know. This will not say if these are the suspects or not. They tell me they're still investigating. So 
We can't show them. The victim tells me Seattle Police's response is making the entire incident that much more difficult to deal with. Nobody is contacting me, nobody is reaching out, nobody is wanting to find these girls except for me. And it's sad that this is the state wow. of our city. That I have to worry, you have to worry, we all have to worry that we could be victimized and then, you know, the criminals are emboldened, they can just run around knowing there's no accountability for their actions. That 22-year-old victim tells me she was in the hospital for hours, then had to drive all the way back to Yakima in her damaged truck by herself. She says that it was traumatic after this incident. Seattle. Well, uh, let me tell you guys, this is uh, unfortunate. So yeah, what do I think about this? Like what I always think about these things. Look, it, you know, I don't condone any kind of violence, especially when it's on the on the you know a uh, highway or on the streets and people are driving and you know it's, it's unfortunate we live in a place where people feel so comfortable getting out in, the, in their leisure attire and putting a whooping on someone all right i mean this woman here looks like an only only fans model um if she's not one she should become one this way she, she can be driven around and not have to worry about these things um the the woman that uh, got her ass whooped you see, we don't know the whole story of what took place here. I know that there's a lot of different... Everybody has all these different views that... Because it is black and white, obviously, that there are going to be some racial... There is going to be some racial tension to it. But what's a good fight without some racial tension these days? You know what I'm saying? It gets boring if you don't have that racial tension aspect to it. It's not news if it doesn't have some black and white involved in it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, without that racial, racial uh, tension, th th this would be pretty much boring. But, you know, you got a nice thick black woman here and, uh, uh, you know, going over and beating up a, a white woman. And uh, it makes the news. But it's not a hate crime, obviously, because it's just not a hate crime. It has to be the opposite way around. For, for it to be a hate crime, it would have to be the white woman beating up on the black woman. Then it becomes a hate crime for some reason. I don't necessarily agree with this kind of logic, but this is what the world we live in today. This could be a potential... Uh, you know, um, uh, world star video, and she could have turned around and said, "World star." If you haven't seen a world star video, it's just doing people are getting beat up or something like that. Somebody comes out and yells, "World star." I'm not too sure what that means. I guess because now you're being videotaped, the world gets to see you become a star. It's not exactly the way you want to become a star is getting your ass whooped on, you know, the internet. But um, apparently, it seems to be the way to go. You know, uh, people are becoming popular for for this type of thing now, and. Uh, you know, this is the weird thing about it. I remember back in the day when, when people became popular, it was always out of doing something like a movie or a comedy or something along the lines of entertainment. But what's happened with entertainment today is very strange because this is criminal activity, guys. <laughs> and people are becoming famous off of criminal activity. So that kind of like rubs me the wrong way. And uh, I think it's really odd. But uh, this is the world we live in, guys. Look, I hope you enjoyed your 4th of July and you celebrated our independence. I don't know from what aliens or whatever the case may be. But uh, look, guys, I will see you in the next crazy-ass video with some, you know, nice, well-shaped woman beating someone's ass. And, uh, you know, uh, we'll talk about that again unless something else crazier happens. I'll be covering it on all the time. I have my stuff on here all the time, guys. This is the Daily Suture, guys, and I'll be seeing you guys soon. My name is TSP, the spiritual philanthropist, Rav Shiva, but I'll be now going as Rav Theory because I don't want to associate myself to any kind of uh, religion or anything like that. So Rav Theory, I'm going to keep the Rav, but add the Theory onto it. That will be my name in the future and present. All right, guys, and past. Just kidding. I don't know. And also multiverse and all the other worlds. I'm just kidding, guys. I don't know. But I'll, okay, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Stay safe. Do not get out of your car if someone starts yelling at you. Turn around and smile and say, I'm sorry, and that's it. And you won't be on a World Star video or on the news. Simple as that. Unless you like that sort of thing. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe uh, if you like my shenanigans. And I will provide you with much more of this stuff. All right? Like I said, it's a mixture of comedy, it's a mixture of wittiness, it's a mixture of insightful uh, wisdom, but it will all be always be fun. I can guarantee you that. All right. <laughs>